That is the sound of the Fazioli F278, undeniably one of the greatest pianos that money can buy in today's market. Just looking at this piano is it's absolutely beautiful. I love the color of the gold harp, the wood on the inside that's absolutely beautiful, the rich, vibrant red felt, and the beautiful, almost sparkly tuning pins and brand new strings, and the rich copper color of the bass. All of it comes together to make a piano that is literal eye candy. It's gorgeous to look at. It's amazing. And even uh, the, the hardware on it is actually made of gold so that it will never tarnish. And 50 years from now, this piano will still look absolutely beautiful. And of course, the sound of it is pretty much unlike anything else you can buy besides another Fazioli. Uh, the richness of this bass, I think, is pretty much unparalleled. And I don't know how Fazioli made such a gorgeous bass sound in their pianos, but it's incredible. All the way down to A0 is absolutely phenomenal sounding. Even when you play it quiet, it's rich and just, it's so rich sounding. That's really the only word to describe. It's so complex sounding and gorgeous. You can play fifths all the way down to here and they still make sense. I often played them down to here in the piece, which didn't work all that well. That piece, by the way, I composed on this piano when I was at this piano store here in Texas. I'll put the information for it down in the description. I had sat down to this piano and I was just messing around with it. And I came up with that chord progression that I thought was kind of cool, and it demonstrates the things that I love about the Fazioli, the rich, incredible, powerful, growly bass, and also the mid-range and the treble on it is also really beautiful as well. Let me play my test piece, another piece that I wrote, to see how this Fazioli sounds in the treble area. The sound of this piano is gorgeous and the feel of the action is also amazing. It's one of these actions where no matter how lightly you press the note, as long as the key is making contact with the key bed, you're making music. The only time that you're going to push down a key and have it not sound is if you don't push it down all the way. Just gently push it down. sounds. It's definitely one of the best actions out there and it's probably one of maybe two or three actions I felt that I have this feeling. There's probably only a couple of pianos out there that I've played that feel this good and one of them is another Fazioli. So the actions that Fazioli puts in this piano, they're of course a Renner, they're made to Fazioli specifications, but they're absolutely amazing actions. The treble in this piano, I kind of skipped over that, but the treble in this piano is amazing to me as well all the way up to C8. Bright, sparkly, it's there. On some pianos, C8 is kind of dead, but you still have presence on the highest note of the piano. And the low bass is amazing, and I love it so, so much. Let me play a couple Bach pieces on it to demonstrate the mid-range of this piano, and hopefully you guys enjoy listening to the Fazioli F278.
I hardly even know what to say about the Fazoli F278. Besides, it's basically perfection in a piano. Everything about it is what I love. I love the feel of the action. I love the sound of it, the richness of the bass, the beautiful clearness, and also the warmth of the treble, I mean the tenor, and then the beautiful clarity of the treble. There's some piano music going on. I am in a piano store after all. But everything about this piano to me is absolute perfection. Everything about it is amazing, and I absolutely love it. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video on the Fazioli F278. If you liked it, you might want to go check out my channel. I've got lots of cool videos of pianos, organs, keyboards, and all kinds of cool other instruments. If you like Fazioli, you might want to go check out my video that I did at the 2019 NAMM show. I actually was able to meet Mr. Fazioli himself and give a cool interview, talk about what makes the Fazioli sound unique, why it is the way it is, and it was a really, really cool interview. If you want, you can go check that out. If you want, you also might want to think about subscribing to my channel. Um, I do videos pretty much almost every day, sometimes every other, every few days, but um, you definitely might want to think about subscribing if you like this kind of content. If you do that, thank you very much. Make sure you hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.